this video we will focus on the order entry ticket widget. This is different to the curtain order entry experience that we have previously gone through in recent videos. Let's start off by adding the order entry ticket widget to these spaces. We can do this in bulk by pressing control on the keyboard and selecting those empty containers. Select the plus symbol to add the widget and the widget library is made available. We can search for the order ticket by typing in the name or alternatively navigating to the trading category where the order ticket tile appears. By double clicking you can see that we have simultaneously added the order ticket widget to both these empty spaces. The order entry ticket widget is targeted towards active traders that are trading multiple stocks at the same time. By setting up the layout in this way, this allows the user, who may have a trading style of pre-creating orders before the open, to easily prepare their orders. So once the market does open, it's as simple as actually clicking a button to place the order. As you can see, the format of this order entry ticket is more concise in nature as opposed to the curtain experience that has more added order attributes. Let's walk through the structure of the order entry ticket. Here we've got the account picker, so should you have access to multiple accounts you can select one that you wish to trade on, the security code, the current bid and ask prices on the market as well as the movement, and the ability to actually toggle between buy and sell. We've got the volume where you can buy by volume or value. We can tab to the next field, select the order type, the limit price. Again, using the up and down arrows on your keyboard, you can manipulate the price or selecting the arrows within the field itself and the lifetime. Should you ever wish to start from scratch, you can press clear on the keyboard and it will reset the volume back to zero and put the limit price to the current price on the market. By placing the buy order by pressing enter or OK, you can see a confirmation has appeared in the middle of your screen. This is a visual call to action for you to validate the order before it is sent to the market. Once it's all good to go, press OK. In Viewpoint, we can also maximize the real estate by stacking widgets. In other words, adding another widget on top of this NAB buy order. We can do this through various ways, but the fastest way is via a shortcut. Here we have shortcut icons here in the top menu to add a widget, maximize, detach, replace and carve, for example. In this case, we can add a widget here. Please note that this is also made available underneath the actual widget menu. But the fastest way is to actually use a shortcut, so let's use that. Pressing add, we can actually search for the order entry ticket widget and double click. And as you can see, we have added another buy order on top of the existing NAB buy order. This is quite good because you can actually toggle between and save space. Let's repeat the process here. We'll add a widget, search for order ticket and double click. As a visual representation, users may like to set these stacked widgets all on the sell side, on the left hand side, all on the buy side. An easy reference is in, within the widget title so you can see the actual stock code and whether it's a sell order or a buy order. Another added benefit of the order entry ticket widget as opposed to the curtain order entry is that we have the ability to detach. So we can effectively detach this widget by selecting the shortcut icon for detach and this will open as a separate window within your internet browser experience as you can see here. This then allows you to physically pick up the window and drag it to a secondary monitor should you have a multiple monitor work session. Let's place a buy order. 
Again, a confirmation will appear within this window as a call to action to validate the order before you send it off to the market. Press OK. And as you can see, my notifications are turned on. And this will appear both on the secondary window as well as the primary. Another added benefit of the order entry ticket widget is that you can take advantage of the broadcast relationship. So let's go and add this NAB buy order to broadcast group 1, which is indicative of the red colour. As you can see, if we were to update a security code in a linked widget, Iris has updated in all the relevant widgets that are linked in broadcast group 1, including the order entry ticket widget. So if you are looking at a depth histogram or seeing some opportunities within the trends in the market, you can act quickly and place a buy order through this broadcast relationship. Another handy tip, should you wish to quickly change to the opposite side of the market, is using the toggle here, buy and sell. Alternatively, we have quick replace keys. Here in the widget men menu under replace, we've got all these shortcuts that allows you to change the widget to a different one. Given that we're looking at the order entry ticket widget, let's focus on B for buy or N for sell. They are closely located on the keyboard for ease of access. Given that we are currently on a buy order, let's select N on the keyboard. And as you can see, the account as well as security code has carried over, but you will need to specify a new volume. Again, B for buy, we can change this sell order back to a buy ticket. 